While the fireworks of 4th of July may have taken place last night right here on the boardwalk in Coney Island, but the Cyclones put on a fireworks display of their own tonight, just a day after Independence Day, defeating the Williamsport Crosscutters 9-2 here at MCU Park in Brooklyn, New York. The Crosscutters came into this game with a 13-2 record. Remember, they started the year with 10 straight wins, the best start in franchise history, but Brooklyn proved why they're also one of the better teams in the New York Penn League with the impressive victory tonight over Williamsport. Now they got to the Crosscutters pitching immediately in the first inning. Brandon Brocher stepped up to the plate with the bases loaded and ripped the first grand slam of his professional career off the scoreboard in left field to give the Cyclones a 4-0 lead. That was the second home run in as many games for Brochure, and that was enough offense for them on the night, really, but he got greedy again in the bottom of the seventh with the bases loaded for a second time, ripped a three RBI double to left center to give the Cyclones a 9-2 lead. Now the Cyclones pitching was dominant yet again. Jose Celis started this game for Brooklyn. He struggled a little in his three and a third innings, gave up two runs, allowed six walks, but the Cyclones bullpen picked him up. They combined to strike out seven allow just two hits in five and two-thirds innings of work. In fact, over the last 35 innings for these Cyclones relievers, they've allowed just two runs as they continue to be the backbone for this Brooklyn team in 2015 so far. Now Brooklyn will look to get the sweep tomorrow night as they face Williamsport for game three of this early season New York Penn League series. Reporting for a lot of sports talk.com, I'm Michael Castellano.